smoking, uh, alcohol, uh, pickled food, salted fish, uh, all these uh, kind of barbecued uh, meat, these um, kind of lifestyle will increase your chance of getting uh, stomach cancer. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Jedi Rao uh, and I'm a consultant surgeon in upper GI, uh, gastrointestinal surgery uh, and bariatric and metabolic uh, surgery. Uh, I'm a consultant here in the Arden JR surgery in Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and I've uh, started my practice here uh, since January last year. Before this, I was a senior consultant and uh, head of upper GI section in Tan Tok Seng Hospital uh, for the last 10 years before I started my practice. Stomach cancer is a common cancer that occurs all around the world. It is extremely common in Asia. Uh, one of the highest cancer incidences is in Korea, Japan and in China. So in Singapore, it's, uh, it used to be the fourth most common uh, cancer about 15-20 years ago, but now it's the seventh common cancer. However, in the world, it is one of the leading causes of deaths when you, someone gets a uh, stomach cancer. So uh, there are various causes of stomach cancer. Uh, one is congenital causes or hereditary causes where it is common in families if you have a family history of uh, cancer. The second is of course uh, acquired causes and the acquired causes are the most common uh, cause is this uh, infection or a bacterial infection of the stomach called as a helicobacter pylori infection. Those people with stomach cancers, 90% of them have had a history of helicobacter pylori infection in the past. Apart from that, a lifestyle that, uh, uh, you know, is uh, smoking, uh, alcohol, uh, pickled food, salted fish, uh, all these uh, kind of barbecued uh, meat, these um, kind of lifestyle will increase your chance of getting uh, stomach cancer. Stomach cancer, unlike many cancers, in the early stage does not produce any symptoms. So this is one of the frightening uh, situations. However, some of the common causes of stomach cancer or uh, some of the symptoms of stomach cancer are uh, vomiting, especially vomiting of blood. Uh, they can pass blood in their stools. They can have abdominal pain. They can have loss of weight, loss of appetite, etc. Uh, and these are some of the common symptoms of uh, stomach cancer. There are some blood tests uh, that are available and these include things like a helicobacter pylori antigen, a pepsinogen, but these are not sensitive or specific uh, in detection of stomach cancer. Nowadays, we have a very new blood test which is based on a microRNA technology. This is called as a gastroclear. Uh, it's actually developed in Singapore and we were part of the research um, uh, that helped to uh, find this test and this can help uh, to risk stratify someone with uh, stomach cancer. So basically this test will tell you whether you are at a low risk, medium risk or high risk. Uh, however, this blood test uh, will help someone to risk stratify as low, medium or high risk and can then, uh, we can decide how often one needs to have screening for this endoscopy. For example, in Japan and uh, Korea where it is very common and is the number one cancer, uh, all individuals uh, above the age of 50 years undergo annual uh, endoscopy. We don't have such a national screening in Singapore uh, because the, it's not so common here and therefore this blood test would help to stratify uh, Singaporeans uh, and those with medium and high risk can have uh, endoscopy earlier and maybe more often in terms of screening. So when stomach cancer is detected in uh, stage 1, they have more than 95% 5 year uh, survival rate. When it is detected in stage 2, then we have a more than 75% uh, 5 year survival rates. When it is detected in stage 3, we have more than 50% 5 year survival rates. However, once it is in uh, metastatic or stage 4 uh, cancers, then the survival rate goes down to about 20-25%. to 25%.
we want to uh, detect uh, the summer camps early because when we do that then we have a very nice uh, and a high survival rates so usually when a, a stomach cancer is very early for example in stage one uh, and it's a very tiny ulcer we have uh, endoscopic methods that can uh, cure it we can do what is called as endoscopic submucosal dissection and we can actually excise this ulcer out and they can be cured they may not even require surgery when the when it's still in stage one but the ulcer is slightly bigger uh, we usually treat it with uh, the keyhole method of surgery called as laparoscopic surgery or robotic surgery uh, where we make very tiny holes uh, where we access the abdomen and use uh, specialized instruments uh, to treat this and again the recovery is much better and faster of course when this, uh, the tumor is in an advanced stage then we need a combination treatment of chemotherapy, radiotherapy and nowadays even immunotherapy along with surgery to treat this. Music